Hi, I'm Dale Sensenig from ATI Corporation. Today in this video, we will be discussing some of the most common troubleshooting issues with our PD grading box series from Level Best. One of our most common issues is with constant flow. Our valve is a open center system, so we need a continuous flow of oil going through our valve at all times. And just because your hoses jump when you first initiate the hydraulics does not mean that you are providing continuous flow. The hydraulic oil needs to flow into our P or pressure port. The T or tank line has a check valve in it. Removal of this check valve will cause automatic void of your warranty. If you try to put the oil into our T port, Basically what will happen is the hydraulic oil will go over the relief valve on your loader. This will quickly heat up your oil and greatly increase the probability of having a hydraulic issue with your pump or your seals on your loader. If the valve does not react to the laser control commands, use the manual override handles located in your operator's manual canister to override the hydraulics to raise and lower the box. If the box does still not react to this, make sure and double check that you are getting continuous flow through the valve. If the valve does not respond to the laser control system, but it does operate our box with the manual overrides, then check the green LED lights on the valve to make sure that they are lighting on the coil modules. If the green LED lights are not lighting on the valve, check the continuity of the hydraulic valve cable. If the continuity checks out in the cable, use your voltmeter to check to make sure you are getting 12 volts out of the proper pins on the cable. You can find the pinouts in our operator's manual located in the manual canister. If it is a dual function valve and only one side is not lighting or operating properly, switch the valve cable connectors so that the slope connector is going into the elevation receptacle on the valve and the elevation connector is going into the slope receptacle on the valve. If it stays on the same side, then you more than likely have a valve coil module issue. If it switches to the other side, then more than likely it is an electrical issue. If your grading box functions manually, but does not function automatically, check to make sure that your control panel is set to automatic mode. If the control panel is properly set, your offsets may need to be increased. To do that, call ATI Corporation or your local dealer, and we will be able to walk you through that. If you are experiencing one laser receiver not lighting up or recognizing the laser beam, switch the connectors at both receivers so that the right coiled cable is now attached to the left receiver and that the left or center mast cable is attached to the right receiver. If the problem stays on the same side, more than likely you have a receiver issue. If it switches sides and goes to the other side, then it is either a control panel issue, a cable issue, or a junction block or box issue. If it does switch sides, switch the coiled cables at the junction box or junction block, and then if it goes back to the same side that it started on, you have eliminated that the receiver cables are an issue. Now you know that it is either your control panel or your junction block or box. If your receivers are reading the laser beam, but your box starts tilting very sharply, either to the left or the right, 
Double check and make sure that you have your cables going to the proper receiver. It is orientated as you are sitting in the operator seat. So the left or center mast would be the driver's side on a car. Your right side would be the passenger side. If both of those cables are in their correct orientation, then double check the valve cable to make sure that your left side or elevation is going to the elevation receptacle in the valve and your right side is going to your slope side of the valve. If you are operating on the job site and your box is very bouncy or it is seesawing back and forth from side to side, make sure that you are not getting any interference or reflection from anything nearby. Double check to make sure that there are no mirrors or windshields. Also check to make sure that there are no strobe lights or any kind of fluorescent lights on the job site or even any other laser beacons that are operating nearby or at another job site that could be affecting it as well. If you've double checked all of that and you're still having this issue, then call either your local dealer or ATI Corporation because you probably need to have your valve offsets adjusted and we can easily do that and walk you through that over the phone. If you have any other issues that were not covered in this video, please feel free to call your dealer or ATI Corporation and we will try to help you as best we can over the phone. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it informative and have a great day.